Assalamu alaikum everyone I hope you all are enjoying your life and having fun with mathematics as you all know we are in unit number two which is known as real number and our book looks like this and the topic we have today and which we are going to discuss is perfect square of number we learned in our previous lecture the squares and now we are going to learn perfect square of a number what is actually a perfect square as i search for all of you from the mathwarehouse.com i found a definition of perfect square number we have no definition in our book so i made a little work a hard work just for you to make you all understand a perfect square is a number that can be expressed as the product of two equal integers means it is a, a number which we can express as a product product mean the number will be multiplied within a number of two equal equal means similar numbers for example three will be multiplied by three integers as we know and we learned in our previous lecture the numbers and re in real numbers integers are the numbers which uh, include negative numbers positive numbers and also zero so means equal numbers similar numbers three multiplied by three four multiplied by four and any other number will be multiplied by itself and the product of that number uh, we get perfect squares means two equal numbers and with that result of that multiplying we get a product which is known as perfect squares now how let's see it how it will it works we have 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 46 and so many other numbers which are examples of perfect squares how now see i took 9 as an example 9 is a perfect square because it can be expressed as 3 multiplied by 3 two equal numbers 3 and 3 both are equal and 3 multiplied by 3 is known as square of 3 the product of two equal integers see integers 3 is an integer and this product this multiplication is known as square of 3 and square of 3 is equal to 9 so 9 is a perfect number so if 9 is a perfect number which numbers are non perfect now we have some examples of non perfect uh, which is 8 5 7 2 8 c how it is a non perfect number c 8 is not perfect square because we can not express it as the product of two equal numbers now you cannot multiply two equal numbers means if we take 4 plus 4 see this 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 but 4 multiplied by 4 is not equal to 8 or any uh, equal numbers any equal integers you take they will not be equal to 4 or any equal uh, we cannot make any uh, answer like 5 7 2 because multiplying two similar or equal numbers uh, integers we cannot find these numbers or any some more numbers like this now how we know I hope you uh, know now that what is perfect squares perfect squares are numbers that can be extra expressed as a product of two equal integers see I can express 9 like this 3 multiplied by 3 if I want to uh, find out 4 I can express it like this 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to square of 2 which is equal to so such numbers are known as perfect squares now we have question number three in our book and this question has some parts I think nearly eight parts which are numbers different numbers and we are to find the perfect squares of these numbers the first number is 
first number is 81 now how to find a perfect square for 81 if you multiply 9 with itself you will find square of 9 which is equal to 81 now I will show you a demo by doing it with a calculator now if you have any scientific calculator like this what is a, the perfect square of uh, 81 is a perfect square uh, okay it is a number that can be expressed as a product of two equal numbers then it is a perfect square now see 9 multiplied by 9 and is equal to 81 you can see it is 81 and if next number 2 we have 1 6 9 and which of two equal numbers we multiply with the self we will find 169 that if we multiply 30 by itself we will find the answer is 169 see this is how we used to find square of a number and that will result this by using calculator i will prove it and here is the answer and it is proven next we have 16 which is uh, number 3 which is 2 25 and by if you multiply 50 by itself you will find that the answer is 225 and here we multiply 15 and see it is the answer next question is and if we multiply 16 by itself we will find the answer 256 and I will do it by calculator and here we get the answer I think yeah it is next our option is 5 and the number is 625 now see which number 25 multiplied by 25 two equal integers and we will find this number and this number is known as perfect square okay as it is uh, proven by our definition that a perfect square is a number that can be expressed as a product of two equal integers these numbers are perfect squares because they can be expressed like this product of two semi equal integers or two similar numbers and we prove it by our calculator and here we have the answer next question is five seven and if uh, we multiply 24 by itself we will find 576 because square of 24 you can also now see I will prove it by two ways number one 24 multiplied by 24 is equal to 5 7 6 and if I do like this 24 and here we have a option that is x power 2 which means square as you can see and uh, we are equal and see 5 7 6 which is proven that 24 square or 24 multiplied by 24 next we have option 7 and that is 6 7 6 and by multiplying 26 with itself or taking a square of 26 this square also means multiply 26 by itself uh, because in some calculators we do not have that option as see 26 and this is square and equal and see 6 and 6 which is our question and also 26 multiply by 26 we also have the same answer and the last option is 49 and we multiply 
cell by itself it is a uh, equal to seven square means uh, finding any square number uh, that we want to find square of this so we will multiply seven with itself and we will find it seven multiply by seven is equal to 49 and if we want to take square of this seven see this option and that is also 49 and here we completed our topic as well the question related to this topic in exercise 2.1 and I hope you had uh, a good understanding of perfect square of number. So here we completed our topic and uh, I want to leave. See you soon in another video. If you like this video and you got any uh, good understanding of perfect square of numbers, so please subscribe and like our video and also share it with your fellows to uh, support our channel. Thank you. Allah